Okay, hi everyone. Um, this is uh, how to show y'all how to set up uh, Net10 on LG Flex, the AT&T SIM card. How to set up the MMS if you're having difficulties sending and receiving pictures or if you're having also as well problems with the internet not working. The settings have seemed to work by um, having both internet and um, my MMS, like I'm able to send both pictures and receive picture messages with my internet all working the settings set up for. I've contacted, when I got this phone, I contacted Net10 for help. They were unable to do nothing for me. So after playing my phone for a while, I was able to discover how to properly do this right. So, forgive me for my bad handwriting, but what you're going to do is, the first step is go to your settings, click on Turing and Networks. Second, secondly, look for Mobile Networks. Click. The next screen that should pop up should be Access Point Name. Click. It should be empty or it should only show AT&T. If it's an AT&T phone, it should only show AT&T on it. Click. Anyway, so after that, click on your phone. This symbol should be three lines. One, two, three. Click on that on your phone and it should show you by the bottom screen just above where this is. It should show you new APN. You click that and enter the information above, which is, which you're going to have a settings, you're going to see a settings screen that's going to have all this on it. If you do not have this, if this is unclickable, if you're unable to uh, change the settings, try and update your phone because I had this problem at first. I was not able to change the settings. It only stayed at default. Um... To change this, you need to update your phone. You need to make sure your phone is fully updated to the new software. Then you can change that. You don't have to unlock the phone. The phone was not unlocked or nothing like that. I just updated the phone and I got this. I was able to change this as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the name and click uh, enter Net10. Net10 capital N and E. T then 10. Click the, I mean, then go to APN, same thing, APN. You enter TF data in small, nothing capital, all in small. As you see, all my, everything here, what's in small, is should stay in lower, I mean, lowercase, should stay in lowercase letters, and what's in capital should stay in capital letters. Um, continue to prox, proxy. You have proxy.mvno.trackphone.com Port Sorry about that. Port is 80. You have username. Not set. It should show as not set. Leave it blank. Leave blank. Do not enter anything in there. Password, same thing. Don't have any anything in there. Go to MMSC and you enter this. All as you see on the screen. Write this down if you need to before you go and be doing this. Write it down on a piece of paper somewhere. Then also you go to MMS proxy. Same thing. MMS That's mms3.trackphone.com. Make sure the dots and everything is in there. As same here with here. Proxy, don't forget the dots. Same, then you go to mmsport80, mcc310, mnc410. Altercation type, PAP or CHAP. And 
APN type, default, stroke, you have the slash there, make sure you get in that, MMS slash SUPL. From there, when you're done, you come back here. That's after you've entered that, after you've entered all this information, that's here. You come, you click the same button again, that's this one. You click that, it's going to give you an option to save, save. Save it and go back by pressing the arrow button, just like that. My hand, handwriting really sucks. It looks like that anyway. Go back and from there click on you will see the option in access point name when you go back it will go back to access point names click net 10 you're gonna see the option there net 10 will be there click on that one you're gonna see a small dot beside net 10 there's gonna be a small dot right there and you might have the AT&T one below with a small dot with a small circle anyway click on that just click on click on that it should be some green it should be highlighted something green like that will end up happening anyway when you're done you're done some say off the phone put it back on but i've never done that i just exit and everything the phone settings everything the screen the network all the bars goes down to zero like you've lost complete bars then it comes back up and you your 4g if it's a 4g you have 4G comes up and everything works and you're able to send picture messages from there. You can go ahead and send your messages. But here's the settings again. I'm going to keep quiet so you all can write this down. It's easy to do. You don't need to take this to a store. And again, this is on the LG Flex. If you have other phones, you can try the settings too. Because I do, if I'm not mistaken, my Samsung uh 4s had almost the same settings almost except i think this was kind of different it had something on there i can't remember that might be the only thing you might need to play around with but everything else like if i'm not mistaken was the same or that might need to be a two instead of a three if it's t-mobile also you have a t-mobile phone if the three doesn't work try and put there two or you can contact net 10 and try and get the proper settings for here that might be the only problem if you have a problem with the t-mobile this one right there well i hope this video helps you all if it does do comment uh like and share the video i would appreciate it i'm trying to get my youtube videos up and running you can watch my other videos on uh, some other stuff i have posted on there Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I hope this helps you all and have a good evening.